dear students uh, in today's class uh, you are going to learn articles a an and the are called articles in english so topic name is articles a an and the are called articles in english now kinds of articles or types of articles in english there are two types of articles indefinite article and definite article so articles have been divided into two types indefinite and definite a and an are called indefinite article the is called definite article so this is something about types of articles now let's learn the definitions of articles <coughs> first indefinite article a or an is called indefinite article because it doesn't express a particular person or thing the is called definite article because it expresses a particular person or thing so friends these are the definitions of indefinite and definite once again i am going to tell you the definition of indefinite article a or an is called indefinite article because when we use either a or an in any sentence that sentence cannot give us a definite meaning that's what it is called indefinite article the is called a definite article why it is called a definite article when we use the in any sentence that sentence can give us a definite meaning a particular meaning so that's what the is called a definite article most of us know that a an and the are called articles and we all also know that these articles have been divided into two types indefinite and definite a and an are called indefinite article and the is called a definite article but what some of us what we don't know some of us see some of us don't know that why should we call a and an are called uh, indefinite article and why the is called a definite article now i am going to give you clear explanation why should we call a and an like indefinite and why should we call the is called a definite article the sentence which i have asked him has no particular meaning so that's what when we use either a or an in any sentence that sentence cannot give us definite meaning that's what a or an is called indefinite article next now i am going to tell you why the is called definite article why the is called definite article now you are going to learn why should we call the like definite article see friends the is called definite article because it can express a definite meaning when we use the in any sentence that sentence can give us definite meaning that's what the is called a definite article let's see one example give me the pen which i gave you yesterday in this sentence we used definite article that is the give me the pen which i gave you yesterday friends now i am going to give you this example to prove why the is called a definite article what i have told you what is the definition of a, uh, definite article the is called a definite article because when we use definite article in any sentence that sentence can give us definite meaning that's what the is called a definite article here is an example which contains a definite article give me the pen which i gave you yesterday see friends in this sentence which article is there the is there no see give me the pen which i gave you yesterday just imagine friends for example i took your class yesterday also just imagine that yesterday you came to attend my class for example you all are the students of a college i am your master you all came to college okay so i too came yesterday so yesterday while the class was going on you asked me my pen for example you asked me my pen so one student forgot to bring his pen so that's what he asked me i gave him okay so yesterday i forgot to collect my pen so now in today's class i am asking that student who has taken my pen okay ah hello shiva 
give me the pen which I gave you yesterday. See, for example, a student Shiva, okay, who has taken my pen. I'm asking him, Shiva, give me the pen which I gave you yesterday. See, which pen he can give now? He cannot give any pen. He should give whatever the pen was given to him yesterday. Whatever the pen he has taken from me, that pen only should be returned. Now he cannot uh, give any color pen because in this sentence definite meaning is there. Why this sentence is giving us a definite meaning? Because we used definite article the in this sentence. That's what the is called definite article. Let me give you one more example also. <clears throat> For example, I met, uh, I am going to give you another example for indefinite and definite. For example, I met a doctor. See, this is the example for indefinite article again. I met a doctor or I met a doctor. For example, I met, see, I met a doctor. I met a doctor. I met a doctor. This sentence is also not at all giving definite meaning because which doctor? So, there are many doctors. So, I am not talking about any particular doctor. I met a doctor means any doctor. So, this sentence is not giving us definite meaning. Why? Because in this sentence we used indefinite article or I met an engineer also. Which engineer? There is no particular meaning. So, friends like this, when we use either a or an in any sentence, that sentences cannot give definite meaning. That's what they are called indefinite articles. Fine. Now, I am going to give you one more example for definite article. I met the doctor. I met the doctor who gave, who gave treatment, who gave treatment to your parents last month. See friends, here is a sentence. I met, I met the doctor who gave treatment to your parents last month. See, particular meaning is there. I met the doctor who gave treatment to your parents last month. See, the sentence is giving us definite meaning. So, that is what the is called a definite article. So, friends, you came to know how many articles are there, okay, and uh, why should we call uh, definite and indefinite. Now, I am going to explain the usage of articles. Before going to explain the usage of articles, I would like to explain once again. Topic name is articles. Okay. So, A, an and the are called articles. These articles have been divided into two types, indefinite and definite. A or an is called indefinite, the is called definite article. I have also told you why should we call A or an is called indefinite article because when we use either A or an in any sentence, that sentence cannot give us definite meaning. That is what either a or an is called indefinite article. The is called a definite article. Why it is called a definite article? When we use the in any sentence, that sentence can give us a definite meaning. That is what the is called a definite article. This is something about the uh, introduction of articles. Friends, now let us learn the usage of articles. First, let us learn indefinite articles. Indefinite. So, A and an. Now, I am going to tell you the definition of indefinite article. Either A or an, okay? Either A or an is used only before singular nouns. First, let us talk about only A. Now, I am going to tell you the usage of articles A, an and the. First, let us learn about A. A is used. The article A, it is used before singular nouns. But one important point here is that singular noun should contain consonant sound. Friends, once again I am going to tell you the usage of A. A is used before singular nouns. 
but that singular noun should contain consonant sound. Friends, never forget, A should be used only before singular nouns and especially that singular noun should contain a consonant sound. Before plurals, we should not use. Friends, let's learn. When should we use A? Means the usage of A. Where should we use A? How should we use? Let's learn very clearly. See friends, A is used before singular nouns. But the condition is that singular noun should contain a consonant sound. So friends, never forget A is used only before singular nouns. But that singular noun should contain a consonant sound. For example, he is dash doctor. Here is an example. He is dash doctor. See, uh, we should write article here, right? So what I have told you friends, A is used only before singular nouns. See, doctor, is it a noun or not? Doctor is a noun. Okay, doctor is a noun, that's fine. Can you please tell me, is it a singular noun or plural noun? Plural? No, singular, right, you are right. Thank you. Uh, doctor is a singular noun. Then what is the plural noun of this? Doctors. Can we use uh, A before doctors? No, we, we should not use. What I have told you, A must be used only before singular consonant nouns only before singular nouns but that singular word should contain consonant sound. Friends, once again I am going to tell you A is always used before singulars. That singular word should contain consonant sound, not vowel sound. Engineer is also a singular noun. Can we use A before engineer? No, of course the word engineer is a singular noun but that cannot give us consonant sound. That's what we should not use there. A singular noun should give consonant sound. Then only we should use A. So in this sentence, he is dash doctor. The word doctor is a singular noun. And doctor, doctor, da, it's giving consonant sound. So whenever you find out a singular noun which contains consonant sound, then only you should use A. Okay. I hope you understood very well. Friends, now I am going to tell you another beautiful technique which can help you a lot in competitive exams. See friends, in the competitive exams while you are writing, uh, while you are answering the questions from articles, first you read the sentence very clearly, okay. After reading, you have to catch the answer. Four options will be given in the examination, okay. A, B, C, D, A, 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 B, and C, the, the last option is D is no article. So friends, before going to select the option, you have to read the sentence once or twice very, very, very clearly. Uh, friends, now I am going to tell you two, three tips how to catch the right answer with a beautiful technique. See friends, step number one. First, you should read the sentence very clearly. That is step number one. Step number two, you should go to the dash. You should go there. So wherever the blank has been given, wherever the dash has been given, there you should go. That is step number two. Step number three is you should meet the right side first word. Sometimes they may give four to five words or ten words also may be given. For example, I have written a small sentence, but in the examination they may give a big sentence. For example, he is a doctor who is working in Hyderabad. Like that they may give a big sentence also. Let them give either a small sentence or big sentence. Friends, what you have to do is, step number one, you should read the entire sentence clearly. Step number two is, you should go to the blank. Okay, that is step number two. Step number three is, after going there, you should meet the right side first word from that blank, from that dash you should meet right side first word. Sometimes there may be four to five words or 10 words, but you should meet the right side first word. After meeting the right side first word, 
you should observe the sound what sound is there if you get vowel uh, if you get vowel sound you should not write a if you can see a consonant sound then only you should write a see for example doctor doctor means da da means it's a consonant sound so whenever you find consonant sound from four options you can happily select a and another technique also i am going to give you friends after going to this word after the dash one word will be given no first word after going to the first word you can observe the sound like this doctor doctor see doctor so friends this word should be written in telugu like this whatever the word has been given here that word should be written with a pencil you can write like this with a pencil you can write like this write in telugu translate this word into telugu doctor like this only you should write whatever the pronunciation comes in english the same pronunciation should be written in telugu doctor first you should write like this after writing doctor cancel all the letters take the first letter what is the first letter da uh, is it giving a consonant sound or vowel sound da consonant sound yes for consonant sounds what should you write a good for consonant sounds a should be written friends one more technique is whatever the sound comes from this letter to this letter i think you know the alphabet of telugu okay so in the examination while you are answering the questions after going there if you get any sound from this letter to that letter answer is a some of you may ask sir why should we write a see friends when you get a sound here from this letter to this letter that letter contains a consonant sound that's what a should be used i have already told you very clearly a is used before singulars but that singular word should contain consonant sound see doctor is it a singular or not singular then after finding whether it is singular or plural then only you should go for sound next sound doctor is singular doctor means a da that the letter da is from this letter to that letter if any letter comes from this letter to that letter that letter contains a consonant sounds so that's what we can happily write a this is something about a friends i hope you understood very well very simple in the examination while you are going to answer the questions step number 1 read the entire sentence very clearly you can read once or twice that is step number 1 step number 2 is please go to the dash please go to the blank wherever the blank has been given go there that is step number 2 step number 3 is you should meet the right side first word right side means from the dash from that blank right side sometimes four five words will be given meet the right side first word that is step number 3 next write the pronunciation of that word in telugu after writing that the next step is uh, delete all the letters take the first letter huh? that is sound sound should be observed if that word gives consonant sound you can write a thank you very much uh, do you want me to give you one more example for example jagadish is dash lawyer jagadish is dash lawyer in hyderabad jagadish is dash lawyer in hyderabad ah step number 1 is what you should read this sentence very clearly okay step number 2 what you should go to the blank okay step number 3 is what you should meet the right side first word what is the right side first word after the dash lawyer okay after going there what should you do the word lawyer should be written in telugu lawyer next after writing lawyer in telugu all the letters should be deleted and the first letter should be taken what is that la lawyer means la la means whether it is a consonant sound or vowel sound i have told you if any letter uh, comes from this letter to that letter that always contains a consonant sound so la is also is giving consonant sound so we can use a we can use a so here answer is jagadish is a lawyer so like that friends we can write number of examples okay i have given 
about 10 important examples here. Example number one is he is a dash doctor, okay, that I have already explained. Second example is she is a dash teacher, okay. Step number one, you should read the uh, entire sentence clearly. Step number two, you should go to the blank. Step number three, you should meet the right side first word after the dash, teacher. After that, you should observe the pronunciation, teacher. You should write in Telugu. With pencil, you can write. Later, you can erase that. Teacher. T means, is it giving a consonant sound or not, friends? It's giving consonant sound. So, you can happily write e A. Whenever you see a singular noun which contains a consonant sound, you can happily select A from the given options. So, here answer is A. Let's see third example. There is dash book on the table, for example. Small sentence is there is a dash book. If you want me to give you a big sentence, there is a dash book on the table which was kept by someone. Like that we can write, we can make it a big sentence also. So, whether it is a small sentence or big sentence, let it be friends. You should read the entire sentence very clearly. After reading it, go to the blank. After that, you should meet the right side first word and uh, write the pronunciation in Telugu. Uh, book means, boo means ba. It's a consonant sound that letter is available from here to here. See friends, very simple. If any letter comes from this letter to that letter, you can happily take A because they always give consonant sounds. The letters are the sounds which come from this letter to that letter, they always give consonant sounds. That's what we can write A. Shall we see, shall we go for another example? Come on, the third, the next example is, it is dash tiger. It is dash tiger. Ah, tiger. Tiger. You should write a pronunciation in Telugu. Tiger. Ta means ta. It's a consonant sound or vowel sound. Tiger means a ta. It's giving consonant sound. Ta is available from here to here. So, you can happily select A. Fine, that's fine. Shall we see another example? Uh, I bought dash book. I bought dash book. So, book means this is giving sound, a consonant sound. Book means boo, means ba. So, again you can write A. Next, another example. It is dash university. It is dash university. So, most of the students think that university is there. This word has started with vowel letter. A, E, I, O, U. These five letters are called vowels in English. So, there are totally 26 letters are there in English. So, among 26, 5 are called vowels, 21 are called consonants. So, uh, some of us may think like this. So, in olden days, uh, we used to learn like this. We used to think in the examination from articles, if we happen to see any question, in that question after the dash, if any word starts with A, E, I, O, U, in that dash, and should be written, we might have learnt like this, friends, it's not at all a right concept, it's wrong. You should never select the answer with the help of the letter. You should not go by the letters. Sounds are important. Don't observe the letters. After the dash, whether it has started A, E, I, O, U or consonant letters, don't see like that. Sound is important, friends. Most of the students think, if any word starts with A, E, I, O, U, there we should write an. It's wrong. In case, if you think that is right, let's see what answer comes here. It is dash university. University, this word has started with A, uh, vowel, no? So, most of the students write an because this word started with U, which is vowel. So, most of the people write an, but an is wrong. Why it is wrong? Of course, namely this word has started with uh, vowel letter, but it's not giving vowel sound. So, sound is important, friends. Letters are not at all important. See, let's see university. Uh, come on, write in Telugu. I told you, no, after the dash, whatever the word has been given, that should be written in Telugu. I have told you very, very, very clearly. Come on, let's write university. You. University means you. Is it giving a consonant uh, sound or vowel sound? Consonant sound it is giving. U. U means U. Telugu. You can imagine in Telugu that letter U. 
that is giving consonant sound. So here we should write a and should not be written friends. Some of us we think u is there, it's a vowel letter, we should write an, don't think please. We should not write. Sound is important, letter is not at all important. Shall we see another example? It is dash one rupee coin. It is dash one rupee coin. Ah, so dash, we should go to the blank dash one rupee. Pronunciation is important, I have told you, no? Come on, O N E one. One means wa. Wa means is it a consonant sound or a vowel sound? Wa. Wa. Consonant sound. The letter wa is available from this letter to this letter. So it, it's a consonant sound. So answer is a one rupee, a one rupee coin. Some students think the right answer is an because this word has started with vowel letter, no? So blindly they think answer may be an. It's wrong friends. Letter is not at all important but sound is important. You please don't go by sound letters. You should go by sounds. You should follow the sounds. You should never follow the letters. Shall we see one more example? She brought dash bag. She brought dash bag. Bag, the word bag. Is it giving a consonant sound or vowel sound? Bag. Bag means ba. It's a consonant sound. You can happily write a. Next, one more example. There is a dash table. There is a dash table. Come on friends, please tell me the word table is giving consonant sound or vowel sound. Come on, table. Table means a ta. Table means a ta. Is it giving consonant sound or vowel sound? Consonant sound, ta. Ta is available from this letter to that letter. So that's what here the answer is A. Friends, I have clearly explained when should we use A. Now, shall we learn when should we use an? Friends, an is also used before singular nouns. A is used before singular nouns. An is also used before singular nouns. A should be used before uh, singular nouns, but that singular word should contain a consonant sound. An is also used before singular nouns, but this singular word should contain a vowel sound. Very simple friends. Both A and AN, these two are used before only singular nouns. Please remember this is the most important my dear friends. A and AN should be used only before singular nouns. This is the most important point I can say. If you can remember this point, you can save the time in the examination hall. Some of you may get it out. Sir, can you please clarify how can we save the time in the examination if we know this technique? I'll tell you. What I have told you, A and N, these both should be used only before singular nouns I told you. Okay. If you remember this point, how can you save your time in the examination hall? Now I am going to explain. You can see now. For example, there is a question. <coughs> she has brought she has brought dash books. Just imagine that she has brought dash books. Four options will be given. A, an, the and no article. What is the sentence? What is the question? She has brought dash books. So step number one, you should read the sentence clearly. After going to the dash, you should write pronunciation. Books means boo means ba. Blindly you see the sound. Boo means it's a consonant sound. Immediately you will attempt to write A because it's giving consonant sound. Friends, please don't do like that. Sound is important. And whether it is a singular or plural, that is also not important. See, dash books. Is it a singular or plural? Plural, books, plural. Book is singular. If you find out a singular noun, then only you should think about A and an. If you happen to see any plural word after the dash, you should never think about A and an, yes. If you know this technique, you can save the time. For example, in the question, this question, in the examination, this question has been given. Okay, dash after dash books is there, no? Uh, that is plural. Plural. Before plurals, we should never use a and an. So among four options, don't think about a and an. You can just think about uh, the and uh, no article. See, after plural, if whenever you happen to see any, any plural word after the dash, 
never think about a and an we should not use a and an before plurals okay fine now here i am going to tell you when should we use an an is used before singular nouns okay an is used before singular nouns only but the condition is that singular word should contain a vowel sound do you remember the definition of a a is used before singular nouns and that singular word should contain consonant sound an is used before singular noun but this singular word should contain vowel sound see this is the explanation about an it is used before singular nouns and that singular word should contain uh, con vowel sound let's see the examples there is dash elephant example number 1 there is dash elephant come on do you remember that steps uh, which i have uh, told you for uh, in def, uh, for a i'm going to the same steps uh, can be followed even here see there is dash elephant before going to select the right answer in the examination four options will be given they don't ask you questions like this after the explanation of this topic i'll show you how the questions will be given in the competitive exams but for the explanation i have written like this uh, there is a dash elephant uh, come on what are the steps we should follow before going to catch the answer step number 1 we should read the entire sentence clearly that's fine step number 2 we should go to the blank means dash after going there what should we do friends we should see the right side first word uh, after going there what should we do that first word uh, should be written in telugu as it is whatever the pronunciation is there that pronunciation should be written in telugu come on let's write elephant 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 means a is it giving vowel sound or consonant sound it's giving vowel sound yes you are right that's great so elephant means a is it giving vowel sound or not yes it's giving vowel sound then for vowel sounds we should write an so here answer is an did you understand well for example elephants same sentence in the same example after the dash elephants this word is there come on what's your answer some students blindly they go to the dash they will read elephants wow this word is there elephants elephants it's a word come on they will observe the pronunciation before going to know whether it is a singular noun or plural noun elephants a it's giving vowel sound so we can happily write and they think but you don't think you are intelligent you don't do like that so first we should know whether it is singular or plural if it is a singular noun then only we should think about sound if it is a plural word we shouldn't think about the sounds and all because we should not use a and an before plurals so elephants plural we shouldn't use an though it con uh, though it contains uh, vowel sound we should not use because only before singulars both a and an should be used only before singulars next shall we see another example he is dash old man see he is dash old man uh, come on after the dash which word is there old this word has started with o uh, can you find uh, vowel sound let's see the sound o old o uh, is it giving a vowel sound or not yes it's giving then you can happily select an next let's see another example it is dash umbrella so this word has started with u so uh, sound is important letter is not at all important see umbrella umbrella means a uh. is it giving a vowel sound or not so friends if any letter gives a uh, sound like this see from here to here whenever you get any sound from this letter to this letter and should be written this is the technique i can say okay friends after the dash you should see umbrella means umbrella means a uh. you should write in telugu umbrella means a uh. is it giving vowel sound or consonant sound a uh means it's giving vowel sound for vowel sounds you should write an the technique is in the examination after the dash if you get the after the dash you should meet the right side word, first word 
you should check the pronunciation in telugu umbrella means you should write as it is in telugu so what is the first letter in umbrella in telugu word a ah, that letter should be brought here and you should check if that letter is available from this letter to that letter you can happily write an because whatever the letter is available from this one to that one always contains a vowel sound that's what an should be taken next let's see one more example my friend is dash rtc officer my friend is dash rtc officer dash rtc officer come on go to the dash go to the blank uh, this word has started with rtc r so r so some of us think this word has started with a consonant letter r is consonant letter before consonant letters we should use a we think like this before vowel letters we should use an it's wrong i have already told you letters are not at all important see this word has started with consonant consonant letter according to that old notion we should write a here but a should not be written here because r t c a which sound is there vowel sound is there r t c a second r t c is it a vowel sound or consonant sound vowel sound so before vowel sounds what should we write friends an yes an is the right answer shall we see another example she met dash mp yesterday she met dash mp yesterday uh, come on the word mp has started with consonant le uh, letter so most of us think that a is used no should we follow letters or sounds sounds you are right so what sound is there is important mp come on you can check the sound don't see the letters please see the sound check the sound come on put your hands like this m t m p a is it giving vowel sound or not yes it's giving vowel sound m p a so for vowel sounds what should we write and should we write and should be written so the answer is here and an m p next what is the next example i got dash appointment i got dash appointment so friends the word appointment uh contains vowel sound or consonant sound come on appointment a a means it's a vowel sound then you can write an answer is an next let's exam next example she is dash indian she is dash indian you can see see the pronunciation in that word indian means e you should write in telugu under indian you can write in telugu indian e uh, first letter e is it available from uh, this letter to this letter or not yes it is there if it is there means it gives vowel sound then we can write an so here the answer is an next let's see one more example there is dash iron box there is dash iron box the word iron is it giving vowel sound or consonant sound i iron it's giving vowel sound so you can write an next one more example it is dash aeroplane it is dash aeroplane so the word aeroplane is giving uh, vowel sound or consonant sound you can see right in telugu aeroplane a is it giving vowel sound or not so you can write an next what is the last example she is dash msc student she is dash msc student okay here we should come to the word msc msc uh, what is the pronunciation msc m it's giving consonant sound or vowel sound it's giving vowel sound some of us think that this word has started with consonant letter m is consonant letter so we can write a some of us might think but it's wrong letter is not important sound is important friends msc come on check the sound m what is that m a means it's giving vowel sound so answer is an answer is an so friends this is the explanation about a and an i hope you understood very 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 clearly till now what have you learnt you came to know when should we use a and when should we use an 
So, before going to start the explanation of definite article, I would like to tell you once again, I would like to explain once again about A and, and something about the also <coughs> definite article. See friends, now I am going to tell you a beautiful techniques which can help you for a long time. If you can know this, if you can remember this technique, it helps you a lot. A and and the, okay. For example, these three are your relatives. Just imagine that A and and the. These three are not letters, not words. These three are persons, okay. Especially they are your relatives, okay. You have decided, <coughs> you have decided to invite them to your home. One day you are going to celebrate a function. For that function, you have decided to invite your three relatives, okay. So, relative number one, A, your relative name is A, your another relative name is Anne and the last person's name is the. So, you have three relatives. The names of your relatives are A, Anne and the, okay. So, relative number one, what is his name? A. He is staying at Adilabad for example, in Telangana state, Adilabad is a district. So, your relative number 1 A is staying at Adilabad. So, Adilabad has also started with A. What is the first letter in Adilabad? A. So, this word also A. So, A is staying at Adilabad. Next your second relative Anne. He is staying at, your relative Anne is staying at Andhra. I mean, uh, I am sorry, Rayalaseema. So, Anantapur district. Is it in Rayalaseema or not? In Rayalaseema, there are four districts. Among four, Anantapur is the one. So, the district name Anantapur has started the first, the first two letters in Anantapur are A and right. So, Anantapur, A, N, the first two letters are A and N, right. So, N, A and N, N. So, this relative is staying at Anantapur. Next, your third relative name is the. This relative is staying in Andhra, okay, in Andhra Pradesh, in Andhra, okay. Andhra, where is your third relative staying? Andhra, Andhra. Andhra, Dra. If you delete that Ra means the Andhra, the. So it is staying at your relative is staying at Andhra. Fine. So you have three relatives uh, A and and the. For that function, you have invited, you have decided to invite them. Okay. First, you went to Adilabad district to invite relative number one. One day you went to Adilabad you met your relative A. Uh, <coughs> so, you are talking to your relative now. Uh, Mr. Egaru, uh, I came to you to invite. Very shortly, we are going to celebrate a function. So, for that function, I came here to invite you. Can you please come to my home? Like this, you have invited. Then A is telling, your relative A is telling. Okay, fine. I thank you very much for your kind invitation, but if you can accept for some conditions, I can come to your home. So like that, A has put some conditions. Okay, A is ready to come to your home, but he has put some conditions. He means A here, please. He has put some conditions. If you, if you are ready to agree for some conditions, then I will come to your home. Like that A has put some conditions. Then you said, okay, I am ready to accept or I am ready to agree with your uh, conditions. Come on, tell what are your conditions. What should I do? What should I do? Tell me. Condition number one. A is telling. Condition number one. If I, if I want to come to your home, okay, at your home, nouns should be available. Condition number one is, I am ready to come to your home, okay. 
but at your home only nouns should be available for example pronouns are there or verbs are there or adverbs are there or conjunctions are there or interjections are there i cannot come it's impossible you can never expect my presence there at your home if the nouns are available i may, i'll come okay that is condition number 1 if i want to come to your home nouns should be available at your home did you understand friends because a is used only before nouns no a should not be used before pronouns a should not be used before verbs a should not be used before uh, prepositions a should be used before pronouns so that's what condition number 1 is nouns if the nouns are available at your home then only i can come okay now you said yes yes nouns are available and please come at our home there are so many nouns you can happily visit okay thank thank you for that i am going to give you or i am going to tell you condition number 2 oh come on tell me what is your second condition that noun should be a singular if there are any plural nouns i cannot come if there is any singular noun tell me i am ready to come so this is the second condition friends did you understand what is the second condition singular noun should be there condition number 1 nouns should be there if there are nouns i am ready to come condition number 2 is singular noun should be there for example pen book cat bat rat mat tv mobile book chair table these all are nouns singular nouns are plural nouns singular nouns now books girls boys doctors teachers chairs pens guns tables mobiles these are nouns but plural nouns so condition number 1 is nouns should be available okay nouns are there okay condition number 2 is whatever the noun is there that noun should be a singular noun then only i will plan to come to your home so you said ah okay andy at our home singular nouns are there nouns are there and especially the nouns are singular only doctor it's a noun and a singular noun also it is it's a noun and a singular doctor is it a noun or not a doctor is noun and it is a singular see he is dash doctor see singular and a doctor next third condition is there a is telling i have another condition which i am going to tell you now come on tell me i am ready to accept all your conditions which you are going to put condition number 3 is that singular noun should contain consonant sound whatever the singular noun is available at your home that singular noun should contain a consonant sound then only i'll come to your home if that singular noun contains vowel sound it's highly impossible i cannot come and you should not invite me you can never expect my presence so this is the third condition what is the third condition friends that singular noun should contain consonant sound then only a comes to your home okay do you want me to repeat three conditions once again see friends one day you went to adilabad to invite your relative uh whose name is called uh, a so for coming to your home a has put three conditions condition number 1 is nouns should be there nouns should be available at your home condition number 2 is that noun should be a singular noun condition number 3 is that singular noun should contain consonant sound not vowel sound consonant sound then only it comes to you so you are telling yes friend come on a garu at our home there are so many nouns and singular nouns are there we don't have plural nouns only singular nouns are there and that uh, whatever the singular nouns are available at our home every singular noun contains consonant sound only see doctor it's a noun singular and it contains consonant sound doctor means a da is it giving consonant sound or not see doctor da so a has given three options you have proved three options then a has decided to come to your home friends did you understand why 
why did I tell you this technique? To make you understand well, when should we use A? Never forget friends, A should be used before singulars. And that um, A should be used before nouns and uh, that uh, noun should be a singular and that singular noun should contain a consonant sound. This is something about A. I hope you understood very well. Next, you went to Rylasima because you have another relative is there, no? So you went to Rylasima. So you met An, Anantapur. First two letters in Anantapur, A-N. So this one also A-N. Okay, you met An. Uh, An Garu Namaskaram. I came from Hyderabad. I came to invite you. I came from Telangana. So, uh, very shortly we are going to celebrate a function. Can you please visit? Then An said, I thank you very much for your kind invitation. But I would like to put three conditions. If you can accept for three conditions, I am ready to come to your home. Yes, you can tell the conditions. Condition number one, singular nouns should, uh, I'm sorry, nouns should be there at your home. Okay, nouns are there, come. But that singular, uh, that noun should be a singular. Okay, singular noun is there, come. Engineer, it's a singular noun only. But the third condition is that singular noun should contain a vowel sound. Then only I will come to your home. So, like this, Anne has given three options. Uh, Anne has put three conditions. So, you have showed three options. Option number one, nouns should be there, engineer is noun and option number two is, condition number two is, singular noun should be there, okay, engineer is singular only and the last option is, the last condition is that singular noun should contain vowel sound, engineer E means E, it's giving vowel sound, so vowel sound is there, so all conditions are available, so Anne has decided to come to a home, so I hope you understood very well about A and Anne, then shall we learn about the friends? You went to Andhra now. You went to Andhra, Andhra, the, right? You went there and uh, started inviting the. So, the has said, I thank you very much for your kind invitation. I have no sentiments. I have no formalities. I am ready to come to your home. I, I don't want to put any conditions. You are inviting me. That's more than enough. I am ready to visit your home. Come on, tell me when should I come? Friends, while you are going to write the, you should not bother about whether it is a singular noun or plural noun, whether it is a vowel sound or consonant sound. You should not worry about the sounds and, and plurals and singulars. So, A should A can be used before singulars, singular nouns. Uh, it can also be used before plural nouns. It can be used before sing, uh, uh, vowel sounds. It also can be used before consonant sounds. So, for no formalities for the. Okay, A can be used before singulars and plurals, before vowel sounds and uh, consonant sounds. I hope you understood very well, I think. The story which I have told you will surely help you friends.